Now I'm joined by Martin Noonan and he's the commercial director for Paragon Systems. Martin, is there too much technology involved in what essentially is a people-based service business? I think there probably is too much technology, but the problem with that is that the technology that people are putting out there is not applicable technology. It's technology for technology's sake. And so what, what is happening is that people are, the, the, the operations are being forced to go down a certain route of operation rather than, uh, the, the, rather than the, system, the system is now dictating what they have to do rather than the operation dictating what the system has to do. And that's what we've always tried to get away from. And if you look at like, applicable technology, you know, we've now got this, this little guy here, which is a, uh, an order taker running on an iPod. And it's cost effective, it works, and it's not too much technology to put in front of the customer. So you're, you're, you're being able to place your orders remotely, you're increasing your service capability, increasing the speed of service, and both sides win. The customer is happy because his food arrives on the table quicker, and the, um, the operation is happy because it's, it's probably putting an extra drink on the table at the same time. So I think that's where, where people are going wrong. You, you really have to look with technology that it, it's going to provide you something rather than technology just for technology's sake. So what kind of hospitality operators need to invest in information technology? Well, if you look at a cross-section of, the, of the, the kind of people that we deal business with, we, we, we can start at a 10-bedroom hotel or a single till in a coffee bar. And then we go up to, say, 250-room hotels, bar, uh, golf courses, uh, membership clubs. So we, we cover a whole range of uh, operations. But again, it goes back to that applicable technology and uh, putting something in, in, in front of people that really does work for them. And what are the mistakes that investors make? There are a number of, number of mistakes that people make, but when they're investing in, in technology, what I think they, they, they miss sometimes is they look at the price and they don't look at the added benefit that dealing with somebody that, that understands the, te the technology. And you can't really put too much value, too great a value, on dealing with a company that understands the technology that's in the business. And what do you think is the biggest challenge that's facing IT providers in the hospitality industry? I think it's going to be a, a, a number of different factors, but the main thing that I, I'm still trying to get my head around is this whole influx of Twitter and social networking and uh, Facebook and all the other things that surround that. And I think that's going to be, it's going to change the way that we live, unfortunately, but it's, it's, it's going to change the way that people have to do business. You know, we already have, um, web engines that can place reservations from Facebook. But it's the whole business of how you would then interact with the restaurant, whether you'd be interacting at the table with your Facebook page or your Twitter page, whether you'd be interacting with the restaurant at that moment in time. That's the thing that we, I, I don't think we've actually, anybody's really got a, a handle on at the moment, but I think it's going to be a big thing. Crikey, if they're, if they're using Twitter to um, predict what's happening on the stock exchange, then you know, we've got to be slightly up there and slightly more up front of what we're going to be doing. Thank you, Martin. Well, if you'd like to find out more about Paragon Systems, then all you've got to do is head to their website at www.paragonsystems.ie.